Why won't I be angry? Why didn't you celebrate my birthday with my rich friends? Instead, you chose to celebrate it in that poor area. You see, I grew up in an area like that. Dad, can we go now? Yes, we can. We are done already. Come on, today is your birthday. You should be happy. This place is disgusting. Just let us go. Okay, we'll go now. But promise me you will be nice to those people. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, children. Yay. Rachel, I noticed you've been angry. What is wrong? Why won't I be angry? Why didn't you celebrate my birthday with my rich friends? Instead, you chose to celebrate it in that poor area. You see, I grew up in an area like that. And I am happy for where I am today. You see, you need to offer assistance to the poor, but less privileged, so as to give them something to inspire them, or something they, they look up to. Dad, I'm not happy with you at all. You know how much I love having my birthday in a beautiful hall with celebrities and my big friends. You see, Rachel, you don't understand these things now. But I'm certain you will understand later in life. You see, it is not about receiving. The most important thing in life is about giving. Okay? Whatever. Can we just go inside now? Of course, definitely. We can go inside now. So let me just start the car and wind up. Ah, what a day. Ah. Oh my goodness. Dad, what are you looking for? I can't find my wallet. Where could I have dropped it? Dad. Yeah? Can you see now? You went to the slums to give them foodstuffs. And what did you get in return? They stole your wallets. Dad, I told you not to go there, but you won't listen to me. All the money in your wallet and your credit cards with your valuables are all gone. If we have done this party with my rich friends, this would not have happened. Rich people don't steal what they already have. It's poor people that steal what they don't have. Dad, whenever I tell you something, you don't listen to me. You just call me a kid. Now you will learn the hard way. I'm sure someone will find the wallet, and when they do, they will give me a call. I am sure of that. Hmm. We'll see about that. I'm sure nobody's going to call you. I think they will. They will give me a call. Oh. This, is, this is an unknown number. Hello? Hello, sir. I'm part of the children that you celebrated your daughter's birthday with. Sir, you forgot your boss. And I borrowed someone's phone to call you to come and take your post. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I'll be on my way right away. Okay, sir. Bye, sir. Wow. Do you know who just called me? Who, Dad? A little girl just called me now. She borrowed a phone from a stranger to call the number she found on my complimentary card. Hmm. Dad, are you sure this is not a scam? Well, she didn't say we should meet in the house or in a private place. She asked me to come to where we did the outreach for the kids. I am sure it is not a scam. Whatever. But I think something is still fishy. 
at least someone found the wallet and they called. You see, don't always judge a book by its cover. Dad. Yeah? You see when we get there, the money won't be in your wallet. Or even though it is, it won't be complete. And I'm sure they will ask for something ridiculous in return. Well, let's get going. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Sir, I'm happy girl. The girl that saw your wallet and the receipts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Dad, why don't you check if everything is there? I am sure everything is complete. There is no need. Just check it. All right, all right. I will check. Wow. Everything is so complete. Really? Yes. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you for this good you have done? Just tell me anything you want. I'll, I'll do it for you. Sir, don't worry. You don't want money? No, sir. Food? No, sir. Biscuits? Toys? Name it. I'll, I'll, I'll buy it for you. No, sir. I just want you to hold my hands and take me down there to the playing ground. To the playing ground? Yes, sir. Is that all? Yes, sir. But what do you want to go and do at the playing ground? My friends are always there and they always make jest of me. I want you to just take me to the playing ground and hold my hands. I just want them to see both of us together and you can leave. Uh, is that all? Yes. But I don't understand. I just want you to take me to the playing ground. Actually, I'm an orphan. My grandmother is very old and they always make jest of me that I'm motherless or fatherless. If you walk with me to the playing ground, they won't call me fatherless anymore. Well, I, I am absolutely so sorry about everything, okay? I, I don't know you're an orphan. You know what? I won't just walk you down to the playing ground alone. I will say it in the presence of everyone that you're my daughter. I will make you my daughter for real. Really? Yes, I'll follow you to your grandmother to sign the necessary paperwork to adopt you as my daughter, for real. And you see, I am amazed by your act of kindness, the selflessness, and how good of a person you are. And for this reason, I would love to make you my own daughter. Thank you, sir. No, 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 no. I should be the one thanking you for your act of kindness. And you see, Rachel. Yes, Dad, you were right. I should never judge a book by its cover. Having nothing doesn't mean you are poor. Others might have good character. I have misjudged these people. Yeah, and Abigail, you see, you have taught my daughter a lifelong lesson within 10 minutes. I have been trying to teach her this lesson for the past 12 years. And you know what? Why not just let's go pay your friends a visit? Okay, sir. All right, sir. So. 